All right, so this is part two of express the sum of trigonometric functions as a single function. Now recapping, these are the things you need to know. So if you have a cosine function and a sine function, you can add them together to make a single cosine function where r is a squared plus b squared and uh, cos alpha is equal to a over r and sine alpha is equal to b over r. You can also add together the same functions, a cos x plus b sine x, and get r sine x plus beta instead, and where all of that is also true. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, now, if we were to go and do an example like this, this express root 3 sine 2x minus cos 2x in the form r sine 2x plus alpha. Now, how are we going to use these formulas when these... It's not x, it's 2x. Well, the easiest way to do it is to just uh, let 2x equal some other letter and then proceed as normal. Let 2x equal u, the equation becomes much simpler, root 3 sine u minus cos u. And I can start working with that. Now, I really need to know what that r value is. The value here, I take my b value here, I add them together, I, sorry, I square them, I add them together, I square root them, I get an answer of 2. My r value is going to be now my next job is to figure out what this alpha value is here. And because I'm trying to create a sine function, I'm following this information here. So it's going to be cos alpha equals b over r and sine alpha equals a over r. So I've subbed in my values here. Now you need to be really careful here because uh, my equation here is a cos x plus b sine x, but this is written in the reverse. So our b value here is not negative 1, our b value here corresponds with our b value here, root 3. So that means that uh, cos alpha is going to be root 3 over 2, and sine alpha is going to be uh, negative 1 half. Now, we're going to get uh, two values when we solve here. Um, it's positive here, so that's going to be in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4, and this one's negative, so it's going to be in quadrant 4 or quadrant 3. Now, the one that they both have in common is quadrant 4. So quadrant 4 is going to be my answer, negative pi on 6. Now that I have that information, I can just sub it into my equation as r sine uh, u plus alpha. That just means that root 3 sine u minus cos u, which is what we started with, is equal to 2 sine u minus pi on 6. Now, we didn't want to know what the function was in terms of u. We want to know what the function is in terms of x. So now we can just take um, 2x and sub it back in for u. Okay, so that's a pretty decent answer there, just subbing 2x back in for u. Now, often that 2 will get taken out of that bracket, and we'll just have to factorize. And that is our final answer. So really not much meat in here. The only difference in this question was that rather than having just x, we had 2x, we let 2x equal u, we work through it normally, sum it back in.